What is up guys, Dylan here and welcome to the tutorial on setting up WordPress and getting started with WordPress. What is WordPress and how can you get started? The WordPress CMS is a very, very powerful open source tool for creating websites, developing websites, creating themes, blogs, a online store, uh, setting up a really anything that you can think of. It's expanded to such a amazing uh, broad spectrum that I really didn't know about. Originally, when I first working started working with uh, WordPress, I thought it was just for blogging. I thought it was pretty lame. I hated blogs. And looking at WordPress now, it's quite amazing in all the things you can do. So let's go ahead and get started. How can you set up WordPress on a local development and play with it on your own PC at home? So there's a few system requirements. You are going to need uh, a Windows PC. Sorry about the chair squeaking if you could hear that. Uh, you're going to need a Windows PC and a internet connection. So the first thing you're going to need is go ahead and Google WordPress download. Go ahead, go to download WordPress. It should be the first link. Go ahead and my current version is WordPress 4.5.3. Download that zip file. Go ahead, just leave it down there. Next, go to WAMP. Just Google it. Don't put WAMP.com, just type it into the browser. For some reason, WAMP's been, I, I don't know why. Every time I search for WAMP, it just takes a moment for some reason. This happened a few minutes ago too. Go ahead, go to WAMPserver.com. Now scroll down. Go ahead and find a WAMP server for your uh, bit for the computer. I have a 64-bit Windows 10 system. So go ahead and download the newest version right over here. Uh, the left side should be the newer version. Just compare the numbers to the right side and the left side for your operating system. I'm going to go ahead and download this directly. It will bring you to sourceforge.com or .net, sorry. Be aware that there are some pop-ups on the site if you don't have Adblock. Be aware of clicking on things you may not want, like these are sponsor links right here that I'm hovering over. Just wait for the download. These are also sponsors right here, Bitdefender and Pilot. So just be aware of that. So WAMP server did download. Go ahead, open that. It will prompt you for administrator permissions right now. Go ahead and click yes. It will take you to English. Click through, accept. Go ahead, select your C drive, and just install all the way through um, your, do the installation, pretty much you have to. Uh, I'm not going to do it, I already have it installed, it's really simple and straightforward. Uh, go ahead, and I'm going to bring us back to the WordPress site. Um, go ahead and open up your folder directory, go to your C drive, go to WAMP64 or WAMP32, go to the www folder, create a new folder called uh, just go ahead and call it WordPress. Then open your WordPress download and go ahead, open this WordPress folder. Open back up your other folder, put them next to each other. Drag all of these files into your WordPress folder. It'll take a moment and transfer. And after you have transferred all of your WordPress files, go ahead and go down to this uh, your start icon, search WAMP server, go ahead run as administrator, click yes. Now make sure you go down here into your system icons and make sure it's running. All local servers and services are running, go ahead and left click. Click on PHP My Admin. Then when you're to this page, go ahead and go to new database. This is where we're going to store all of our files and data for our website. Go ahead and type in the WordPress, push enter. It's going to save your database. Now go to localhost forward slash WordPress. Make sure it's case sensitive or it's exactly what you typed because it is case sensitive. Now we're going to get brought to this page. We're going to click English. And then we notice we have to set up a database, but we have already set up our database. So let's go back into our directory where we dropped all of our WordPress files. Go ahead, rename our wconfig or wp-config-sample file. Rename it to just wp-config. Then go ahead and edit it with your choice of your uh, text editor. You can add it with just a text editor. Um, Sublime Text, Visual Studio, 
uh, Notepad++. Some of these are kind of out there and a little bit more advanced. So I'm sorry if you don't know what these are. Um, I'm using Sublime Text. Open it. Now you see we have these define functions. These are PHP. Don't be too worried. We're not going to have to work with PHP too much. Go ahead and type in our database name in between the single quotes. Type a username of root and then delete the password is here. Just leave it with blank single quotes exactly like that. Save it by hitting Control and S or going up to File, Save. Go ahead and close out of that. Then go ahead and just reload localhost forward slash and then WordPress. It's going to bring us back to where we were for WP admin install. Go ahead and click English. But we got bring we are brought to a uh, new page where we have to in, uh, fill in our site info. So our site's going to be WordPress tutorial. And then our username for our account is just going to be admin. Make it simple. And then for my password, I'm just going to put my name. I don't suggest you do this, but for this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and do it instead of keeping the complicated password. For the site will never go live, at the, or at least at this point, and it's always going to be secured. Go ahead and search engine visibility. Discourage search engines from indexing your site. Go ahead and put in an email that you can use. Um, you will want to put in your email. Go ahead and install WordPress. And there we go, success. WordPress has successfully been installed. Go ahead and log into your admin account and reach your administrative panel in the back end. Go ahead and click Remember Me, log in, and congratulations, you have made it to the end of this tutorial, your first tutorial on installing WordPress. This video was shot in high definition, so if you have a trouble seeing anything, go ahead, pull it up full screen and watch it over again, and pause on any moments that you did not catch. If you need any help, go ahead, post in the comments, and I would be more than willing to help you. In a future tutorial, we're going to go ahead and jump into what all these uh, little tabs are over here on the side. We're going to go ahead and install themes, set up widgets, work with a the backgrounds, editors, go ahead and work with plugins, installing plugins, posts, pages, media, images, etc. So thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next tutorial. Thank you for watching, and have a great night.